wanted to show you a couple of things I learned the last couple of months of getting used to Linux Mint. I found a video out here about uh, a USB floppy drive. And uh, the guy was warning you that um, when you plug it in, you're going to get a warning sign. That's the way it's supposed to work. Well, the deal was is that it created a warning on your screen that if you ignored, it would keep repeating the warning over and over again. And the guy found out that if he did it about a hundred times, it would crash the Linux Mint. I found out that if you stick a floppy disk in, it stops giving you a warning. And evidently it's uh, repaired itself now to the point where it just automatically recognizes it. I don't remember getting it to do that. So, bravo for the coders. If you're an experienced Linux user, please remember that I'm aiming these videos for the non-tech people. Uh, my friends who are using Windows 7, feeling hijacked by Windows in general. Just like with your Windows products, you get a little notice down here telling you you have updates waiting. Come in here and pretty much trust what you get. You can go to their website and find out about them. You can hit the description and find out what they're going to be doing. So far, trusting them has worked for me. I've been checking out their blog which is well worth it. You can get on the newbies forum and look at the questions other people are asking. Find out the problems other people have been in. You might have read in the headlines how they got attacked and they got their butt kicked, but the new security they put in place and the way they responded, if somebody was trying to make them look bad, they failed, in my opinion. That's it. It's updated again. Another thing that I ran into when I was looking for uh, to get ready for my taxes. I came into their software manager. This, he typed in uh, accounting. And I had a dozen of these to test and see which ones I liked. Of course, you can start with the first one. It's got 42 reviews and four-star rating. And uh, you get to test them for free. It's not like going to Walmart and buying something for 100 bucks that you're stuck with. I found three old HP workstations behind a data center. Brought them home, put all the parts together, and... Uh, Loaded in Linux Mint. I tried putting their windows back into it a number of times. It wouldn't take it for some reason, but the Mint just took off and it flew. But the nice thing is, this Mint is free. It popped right into that machine just as easily as it brought a, let's see, it was an eight-year-old Dell laptop to life last weekend for a guy. Hard drive was dead. I popped in a Solid state drive had Linux Mint in there in about an hour and a half, and it's been a little over a week, and he hasn't called me back yet. It's a quick 60 bucks for nothing. I'm quite impressed with this program. 